It's the people that can build fast. It's the people that can think and build fast and don't give a shit and put things out on the open. Get feedback. Adapt on the feedback. Put it back in the open. And do the circle as fast as possible. Learning while doing it. That are the people that makes the money. Before we continue this video, I want to show you that I'm building the world's best GoLang program that will ever exist. It's the full-time GoDev.com. We basically cover everything, the introduction to the GoLang language, mastering concurrency, building APIs. We are building a hotel reservation backend, the whole complete shebang. We are going to do multiple microservices with inter-service communication, gateways, rate limiting, Prometheus metrics and all that stuff. Of course, the Docker batteries will be included and you get a free bonus. The blockchain series from scratch, not the one on YouTube, a complete new that's only available for Patreon. So you, can, you get that as a bonus. And of course, I'm also going to teach you how to land a job. I'm going to uh, show you tips and tricks because I was a CTO myself, had multiple startups. So I know what these guys are looking for. Basically, fulltimegodev.com. I'm going to show you real quick. The course is still is now in pre-sale. It's 30% off. The course will be available by the end of the month. And a lot of people ask me, how long does it take? This course is insane. This course is, look at this introduction to Golang. This is already being deployed. It's already available. Uh, all these, these episodes, mastering concurrency, 20 minutes, 70 minutes, 20, 23, 4, 24 minutes. And then we have building the backend. It's our hotel reservation backend. It's each episode is 40 minutes long and we are, we are still not done yet. We are basically not on the half. This is going to be the largest go length program you ever going to experience. So go to fulltimegodev.com and get your 30% off. Peace. I just want to build stuff and I want to build it quickly and I want to, yeah. Because by the end of the day, programming is not about your syntax. Programming is about making stuff happen, right? You want to make a trading indicator? Well, make one, you know, uh, that that's the thing. And if you can make it in Go, you can make it in C++, you can make it in Rust, you can make it in any fucking language, right? It doesn't really, it doesn't, it, it's not difficult to rewrite this in another language, right? That's easy, you know what I mean? But by the end of the day, guys, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you program, right, and you want to build a project, it doesn't really matter what language you pick, as long as you get things done, right? And when your project is really getting serious, when with an accident, your program is getting traction, it could be, and you see that you have scaling issues or you see you have problems, you can easily rewrite it, right? But the, the most important thing as a startup, the most important thing as a developer is to have very fast feedback cycles and you need to keep triggering your reward system is so important. Don't make it yourself hard. Make it yourself as easy as possible, as dirty as possible. Get things done, get things out in the world, let people use it. And maybe you're going to hit the jackpot and, and it's going to get famous and people are going to use it. And then you come into these luxury, luxury problems where maybe Node.js or PHP or Python could be a bottleneck. But by the day, by the time Python, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Go, is going to be a bottleneck. We are already two, three, four years further down the line. If you're lucky, maybe faster, but that are luxury problems, you know? Because you could all also hor horizontally scale your infrastructure if you want. It's a little bit nasty and it's 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 not, not that uh, cheap, but it's the worst case scenario. You can always scale things up. And by the end of the day, after four years, five years, six years, if there is a scaling issue, you already sold your company, right? You're, you're already out of there. Hey, guys, thanks. Buy my shares. I'm out of here. Just like Twitter. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys are peacing out. <laughs> and Elon need to clean up the shit. Don't over-engineer, right? You see, you see the project that I'm making, this is like, I mean, could this be better? Of course, right? But... We just building stuff, you know what I mean? And after, and uh, is there is a problem, we're gonna fix it, you know what I mean? What does it matter? Everybody can read this thing, right? Could it be better? Of course, but does it matter? No, it doesn't matter, right? I mean, does it matter what underwear I, I, I have? No, you know what I mean? Could be a, a nice pink one, a nice blue, or it could be a fucking dirty, dirty, 
It could be nothing. <laughs> Who knows? It's the people that can build fast. It's the people that can think and build fast and don't give a shit and put things out on the open. Get feedback. Adapt on the feedback. Put it back in the open. And do the circle as fast as possible. Learning while doing it. That are the people that makes the money. And all these nitpickers, that are the people that work for the people that make the money. You know what I mean? That's how it is. And nobody, and you're not going to believe it, but I can, this is something that's true. This is not my opinion. This is, this is something that's, that, that, that's how the world works. That's how it works. You know what I mean? There is no customer that cares about your folders. The customer cares about their future. They want it and they want it right now. They want it right now. And if the, if the future is not good enough, it doesn't matter. Because you, you showed them that you delivered the future they actually want, but it's, it, it's not working properly. It doesn't matter. Because they got him. They feel, okay, he's listening to us. It's nice. Thank you for the future. Although, there is a little bit of problem with this future. Like this, letter is not good enough. This padding is bad. Okay, no problem. You're going to fix it and put it back. You know what I mean? And all these other guys, all these project managers that don't want to ship on a Friday. They don't want to release code. They, oh no, we're not going to release, it's not pinpoint perfect. Well, this client is going to be, this, this, this customer is going to get pissed because they don't get their future. Feature. And then he's going to ship it two weeks later, thinking it's okay, but it still is a bug in it. So he, he's making him two times pissed. And that's something that all your project managers and all these, 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 these CEOs, CTOs don't, do not understand.